our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. Click on Jim's Garden Tips. And every night here on Fox 9, we like to learn a little bit about the weather, especially when the kids can ask us a question or two. So let's head over to Scott for tonight's Weather Whiz Kid. Well, tonight we're going to talk about, we, we talked about tornadoes last night. We're just going to stay in that severe weather theme here from Kelsch Elementary. They've been asking some great questions, and we've got some questions in regards to lightning. Hi, my name is Yasmin. I go to Kelsch Elementary. Why does why does lightning strike cars and homes? My name is Jordan Norris. I go to Kelsch. Um, why does lightning occur in certain areas? So why does lightning strike cars and homes? Why does it strike in certain areas? Some great questions about lightning. Let's take a look at some facts about lightning, and you'll see it here on the wider scale. Lightning hits the Earth about 8.6 million times each day. Picture the atmosphere as it's blowing over the top of the surface. It's rubbing against the Earth and creating a static electricity, if you will, and there's a constant trying to balance of the electrical charges between the clouds and the atmosphere uh, in the Earth, and so that's why you get this many lightning strikes. So it's pretty common, of course, across the globe. And so here you are with a charge differential, negative charges at the base of the cloud, and charges down at the surface. So why does lightning strike in certain areas? Well, those charges will tend to run right up the higher objects. And that lightning, again, has a hard time going through the air. It's not a real good conductor of electricity. So it's looking to hit solid objects where it will travel faster. So the tallest objects will give the quickest route to the ground. And that's typically what happens. There's a lightning discharge. And now you have an even distribution of pluses and minuses, the positives and negative charges in the clouds and on the ground as well. So beware of lightning. This is important here. U.S. casualties, about 100 people per year are killed uh, by lightning. The number of hits, 1,000 to 1,500 lightning strikes can cause all kinds of medical problems. So this is one of the most dangerous things I believe in Idaho, even though flooding is a huge issue. Lightning, you just don't see it coming. But you can see thunderstorms coming. And when thunderstorms are approaching, that's when lightning, the chances of getting struck by lightning, of course, go up. So the people who get struck by lightning, about half of them are in open fields, ballparks, and golf courses. And then in a quarter of them, generally under trees. You don't want to hover under, hide under a tree, even though it may be raining because that tree is going to attract lightning and attract that electricity and then beaches and boats even operating farm equipment seven percent and that happens here in idaho i know of one particular death of somebody uh, setting an irrigation line one so how far is lightning away if it takes 10 seconds for the sound to come after the flash you divide that by five and that's two miles so if it's 10 seconds under 10 seconds as lightning strikes within two miles you need to take shelter so michelle this is very important we're all heading out Side. If you see thunderstorms coming, just go inside this right here, the house. Good advice. Thank you, 